Full time at St James's Park. It finishes Newcastle United 4, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Reminding us of a 6 1 from last season, Tottenham are battered at St James's Park by Newcastle and Alexander Isak. Today we'll be reacting to what happened in a match. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is going to be an Arsenal to record. Always remember, smash the line, subscribe on to the flipping channel, and let's get into this one. So then, <clears throat> last April, the Magpies inflicted a crushing 6-1 reverse on us and despite making a bright start on this occasion, we couldn't start from the flow of goals again as Alexander, Alexander Isaac were two and Anthony Gornas and Fabio Schär all netted. The result saw a hit to our goal difference and we dropped a place in the Premier League table as Aston Villa climbed above us without playing due to them now having a one-goal advantage on us. The game had a really open feel to it in the early stages, both sides looking to get on the attack quickly. And after Rodrigo Ben scored a shot blocked after just 30 seconds, we had a great chance in the 7th minute, but Timo Werner couldn't keep his back post volley down for Brendan Johnson's fire cross. Another chance fell well on his way on 16 minutes after great work from James Madison, but this time his side-footed effort went across goal and Newcastle cleared. Last season, we were 5-0 down after just 20 minutes, but we were well in contest with, with half an hour gone on this occasion, only for the game to change in a two-minute spell. First, an attack of ours flundered on the edge of the edge of the Newcastle area and one long ball out found Gordon who shrugged off Destiny new doggy and fed Isak who cut inside Mickey van der Ven as he slipped and fired home. Just 95 seconds later Pedro Porro attempted back pass fell to Gordon and again van der Ven slipped as he challenged the Newcastle player leaving Gordon free to draw past Vicario. It was almost 3-0 after 37 minutes but this time new doggy made a great last ditch challenge to deny Isak who then headed just from just over corner four minutes before the break. As as has been the way in the recent weeks, we needed a big second half to get back into the contest and I had our first shot on target of the game in the 50th minute. Werner driven straight at Martin Dubravka from the edge of the area. However, just seconds later, we lost the ball deep in the Newcastle area. Bruno Grimrash played the ball over the top of our defence and Isaac, or Isak, running from inside his own half, strode away, strode forward and slotted past Vicario. A strong hand from Vicario pushed away Elliot Anderson's angle drive to prevent us from going further behind before the game ended a phase where we had long spells of possession around a Newcastle box but lacked a cutting edge and the Bravco wasn't tested. At the other end, Emil Cruff hit a shot hit the foot of the post with a half volley and Van Ven got across well to block Gordon's shot from 10 yards out but from the resultant corner, Fabian Schaar headed in Gordon's cross from the Magpies. Fourth goal rising off another disappointing day in the north east but yeah really really disappointing today um i won't confident going into this game but um i just wanted to do better than last year and we didn't we didn't really do better than last year but um we never do well at the St. james's park let's just admit that so whenever we come in next season as well i'm gonna cry before the game because i already know what's gonna happen um in the table without villa even playing what I've said there, this means that we drop to fifth place in the Premier League, say, staying on 60 points, suffering our eighth loss of the season. If Arsenal score two or more goals tomorrow, we will reclaim full spot on goal difference. Obviously, we were on a plus 20 goal difference, but that was dropped to Newcastle's four goal hammering against us. Villa have a 17 plus goal difference, meaning they now have a better goal difference than us. Manchester United recently just drew with Bournemouth. That means they still stay 7th in the Premier League after Newcastle picking up the win against us moved up to 6th place, only 10 points behind us, with for us only 6 games to go. But um, views have not been great recently, but um, we've just just gone over the 4 minute mark, but oh well. Um, a new video will be out tomorrow, I'm really sorry, I've just lost the track of dates and stuff, so... Um, I'm really sorry about that, but seriously, a new video will be coming out tomorrow. Do not worry. Um, it's the final day before I go back to school, so um, it's really disappointing as I'm going to have to go back into a schedule of going back to school. But it might get me back into a better schedule of uploading more and um, just getting back um, on a routine. But um, this holiday was really nice, I'll say that. Um, I took a couple of days off a couple of times because I spent time with family or going to do stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. Um, we got a long time to the next match direction, not for another two weeks now today. But um, there will be obviously daily video still between that. Well, we might have a couple of days where we do not have a video. But yeah, thank you for watching match direction. It has been an item to record. Always remember, smash line, subscribe on to the Fibbing channel. And I'll see your little dirty face soon. Goodbye, guys.